An Indian student was stabbed at a fitness center in the United States. His name was Varun Raj Pucha. He was all of 24 years old. For a week, he was in a critical condition and today he has succumbed to his injuries. Varun is no more. He was a native of the Indian state of Telangana. On the 29th of October, he was stabbed in his head. Here's what happened. Varun was in the massage room of a public gym in Indiana. And that's when another 24-year-old walked in. His name is Jordan Andred. What happened next is horrifying to say the least. Jordan attacked Varun with a knife. He planted it directly in the victim's head. What was Varun's fault? Why did this happen? Jordan's explanation is, now this might boil your blood. Jordan says he found Varun, quote unquote, a little weird. What is that even supposed to mean? What is weird? And how can you kill someone for it? Was it the fact that Varun was an Indian on American soil? Is that why he had to lose his life? Or was there something else? According to reports, the police spoke to the staff of the gym. The staffers described Varun as a quiet and reserved person. They said that he was a regular at the gym and generally kept to himself. The workers also said there was nothing creepy, quote unquote, about Varun at all. Imagine the plight of Varun's parents. A year and a half ago, they had sent their son to study abroad. Varun's father is a simple school teacher. They had high hopes for him. They wanted him to have the best education. Every parent does. Varun's entire family was in India except for a couple of relatives. Imagine what they must have gone through when they received that call from Varun's roommate that their son has been stabbed, that he is fighting for his life for no fault of his. Varun's cousin was by his side as he remained unconscious in a hospital bed. Last week, the doctors reportedly declared Varun had 0 to 5% chance of survival. Everyone prayed for his recovery. They were desperately hoping for a miracle. But unfortunately, Varun's condition did not improve. Physically, he showed movement only on one side of his body. Mentally, he remained unconscious. His cousin was by his side when Varun breathed his last. And here's what she had to say about her late cousin. Let me read this out to you. It's very difficult because no one would expect this kind of situation for their kids. He had many dreams. He came with many dreams to financially and emotionally support his family. Varun's family was expecting him to come back home next year. But now he never will because some sick man in the US found him, quote unquote, a little weird. Jordan Andred was arrested soon after that attack. He is facing charges of murder and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. We still don't know why Jordan stabbed Varun. The defense has informed the court that Andred has a history of serious mental health conditions. The 24-year-old even claimed that Varun had threatened him. But reports say otherwise. Yet he had to pay with his life. Varun's university has planned a service of remembrance and a memorial for him on November 16. His classmates and community members also held a candlelight vigil for him. His family is demanding justice. They want his murderer to be handed a stern punishment. Will the American authorities listen is the question. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.